All right, we have our hi-hat taken care of and our kick. Now it's time to give a little love to the snare drum. I actually always find it a little funny that everyone puts so much emphasis on kicks and basses, but no one ever mentions snare drums. Come on, if you don't have a snare drum, you're missing half your rhythm and crunch. Not here. In this video, we're not only going to spend some time on the snare, but we're essentially going to see how we can sculpt an entirely different snare drum from the one we have here with the pulverizer. All right, I'll tap on pad six, which is what I'm using for my main snare drum. This changes Kong's focus to this particular drum. Next, I'll create a mix channel again and route output seven and eight from Kong to the new snare mix channel. All right, before we go much further, let's hear how this sounds before we do any modification to our snare. Now, I'll assign the snare in Kong to output seven and eight, and I'll play just to make sure it's working. Yep. Now, let's create a pulverizer for the snare. And we'll put the filter in bypass. Now, I'm going to apply a generous amount of squash because I personally love the snares that stand out and they can easily get lost in the mix. But the most important reason I'm doing this is because I really do want to sculpt an altogether new snare with this device. Let's hear this now with the squash upped way up. I'll put it in bypass too so that you can hear what a difference this makes. Now, let's add in a little dirt. Now, let's take the release down so we can tighten up the compression pattern. Okay, it's really, really sticking out now. Take a listen to the difference in bypass. Now at the full effect. Now it's time to add in a little filter action and what could be better for sculpting than the comb filter. Let me play this and hear what a difference just minute adjustments on the frequency makes. I actually really like how this sounds, but I'd also like to show you how the tremor can be very helpful in adding a little rasp into your snare with the unsynced mode. I'll add the filter modulation from the tremor. Hear the additional body and rasp added in with a slightly higher rate in filter modulation. I'm going to actually take off the filter modulation because I like it better with just plain old comb filter. It's kind of got that craft work sound. All right, in the next video, I thought it might be fun to run the rest of our drums through one pulverizer and see how noisy of a loop we can make out of the whole thing.